Hello everybody, this is Kalzak and welcome to Mario Kart Wii Custom Tracks Worldwide and this is episode number 4 and we're on Lava Road which is not new, not one of the new ones but it is pretty cool um, it's one of the one of my favourite courses actually, uh, Custom Tracks, I really like it, I, do, I normally do pretty well I mean I haven't done it for a while and as you can see there I just jumped in lava and died so yeah, but I'm not, I, normally, I normally do pretty well at it so hopefully I can come back and we're still only in third place, everyone else has had a bit of a disaster so it's fine. And where's the leader? Not too far ahead. We've got a red shell which looks like a, a black shell in this lighting so we'll just throw the black shell and when you throw it it turns red. Whatever and then turns black again. So it's like a red and black shell, it's amazing. Um, this bit's the most tricky bit of the course I think. Can we stay on? Yes we can just about. There we go. This is that pretty nice actually and we're in the lead and normally when I'm in the lead on this course I do smash it. Um, and I want to be the smashiest of the smashiest. Um, a bit, a bit of throwback there to an old episode. Um, anyone remember that? That watches anymore? Probably not. Probably all those fans are probably gone. <laughs> there's, there's a few still around who, who know what that means. The smashiest of the smashiest. I'm sure you remember that from like ten years ago. No, <laughs> no, maybe not. Uh, we got a green. We got a green show. Yeah, that looks. That still looks pretty green. Just like a dark green in this lighting. Now just avoid the swamps. Avoid the lava. And as, as I said, I like this course. I do. Um, wasn't it fast before? Was it in like 200cc mode before? Or was that... Am I, am I imagining that? I don't know. I'm sure it was, but maybe not. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. We're in first place, so regardless, it doesn't really matter. Um, because we're still in the lead. And we're going up a bit of a lead, that Dunk Kong. Not, not too big, but it's fine. And, and this time... Oh, I didn't trick. Wow. I did not trick for some bizarre reason. And that's going to cost me the lead, and it's G Zenya. I'm not happy about that because he can't drive, and he's t passed the lead. Pass passed the lead. He took the lead, and oh, there we go. <laughs> just proving that he cannot drive. He can also not bounce because he just bounced straight into lava. Um, a, a little tip for you: um, don't bounce into lava. It's just a little tip. Um, I know most most of you might not know that, but it's it's not never a good idea to bounce into lava. Red Shell's coming now. Nah, get out of here, Red Shell. He, he's not going to reach me. Uh, yeah, but that, that's the tip of the day: do not bounce into lava. Um, I think I will, I'll start doing tip of the day, and that, that's the first tip of the day. Do not bounce into lava. There we go, folks. You heard it here first. Um, oh, we got the guy behind us. I thought it was G Zenya, but it's not. It looks like it's another G. Maybe they're part of the same uh, clan. The G clan? Is that, is that a clan? <laughs> is that a clan? I don't know. I've never really been involved in clans in Mario Kart. Uh, maybe I should get involved in clans, but yeah, I, I, could, I could be in a clan. I'm pretty good at Mario Kart sometimes. <laughs> I, mean, I get a lot of bad luck, but I, I, could, be, I could be in a clan. I, I, I'd win every clan war. I'll be top of the, the clan the clan rank rankings. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they are. First place. We've got a big lead. Um, so it's looking pretty good. Um, yeah. I think we've got this in the bag. Even a blue shell comes now. I'm not even going to worry about it. Because it's like, yeah. Shook it up. Oh, went into lava. That's, that's not good. Um, but it's fine. we still got a bit of a lead. A blue shell now would be a bit of a disaster. But um, it's sure, I'm sure we'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Got this in the bag. As long as nothing drastic happens in the next half a lap. We've got this one. Well and truly in the bag. That guy's catching up a little bit though, but you know, I said I've, I'm, I'm confident, quietly confident in my ability to succeed. Um, we've only got like a straight left and then a corner. Um, this guy isn't passing me, you're not beating me. This is my race to win, and I'm going to win it, so take that. So I'm going to throw that across. It was Remy Triple Star Leah that tried to take the victory from me, but no. And then of course, the guy that can't drive also came in behind me, um, G Zenya, and he cannot drive or he cannot bounce either. And there we go. A lovely win. We should get some points finally again. Uh, we, I have come back into it eventually. It only took three episodes, but there we go. Forty-three points. Look at that. Eight to eight, eight. Pretty good. We're top of the leaderboard in here in this room, so that's all that matters. As long as I say top of this room, that's all that matters. Anyway, let's move on. Here we go. And here we. go go with the second race of episode number four and we're on river of dreams yeah this is a new course well one that i haven't done before it looks like it might be one of the new ones as well all the new ones look pretty amazing and right from the bat this does look pretty nice um oh we're going a bit wide there um these trees are weird aren't they? they're not mario kart trees are they they're like crazy trees <laughs> they're like crazy trees and they're like real life trees which is strange, but it's River Dreams anyway. Um, and it is, as it says, it's a river. Now, I'm not sure where the Dreams part comes in, but um, and it's only one lap as well. So it might be a long course. And we're, okay, we're going underwater, which that's a pretty cool. 
Look at that. Oh, this looks amazing. There's Jeep Jeeps flying around, floating around as well. Oh, look at this. I'm liking this. Oh, uh, just a random jump there out of the water. That's fine. And so just a crazy rock in the water there. Whatever. Um, where are we going? Oh, why do custom tracks do this? Blind turns and blind stuff like that where you can't see where you're going. And look, again. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's okay. Oh, okay. This might be the dreams part. Um, what? Now we're in the sky? Well, it is the river of dreams, I suppose. And there's a uh, question mark blocks. Look at that. This is amazing. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. I'm liking this one. Definitely liking this one. It's a bit varied as well. Oh, there's just bubbles of water with cheap jeeps in. Yeah, why not? Is that a bouncy, bouncy block? And then a bouncy, bouncy note block? Oh, look at that. that that's a good use of the note block. Um, the musical note block there. That, that's what they do in the actual game as well. They, they make you bounce. Oh, we're out, of the, out, we're out of the dream now. We're awake again, I think. Um, and we're underwater. Oh, there's a... No, no, we're, we're dreaming again. We fell asleep again. Um, we fell asleep while driving. And this is what happens when... This is, oh, it could have been penguins. It's a snowy place. You could have put penguins there. Oh, and now we're in space. Is it all, is it all a dream? Is this all one big dream? And there, there, those are low trick jumps there. That's amazing. And look, I'm doing pretty good. Second place is a blue shell. It's going to hit the leader. It's going to give me first place. It's Remy really Triple Star at Leah. And we're in the lead. I don't know how long's left, though. Um, oh, okay. There's a turn out. It's fine. Um, should we go up here? This looks... Yeah, I think this looks quicker. There's boost panels. So maybe. Maybe that's faster. I don't know. Oh, no. I'm going to fall off. No, I'm not. Oh, that was, that's what I meant to do that. <laughs> that was completely intentional. I'm a long corner, which you can't quite drift on because you can't quite get the boost in time. That's fine. Uh, get a little trick there. Um, this is a pretty cool course, actually. There's a lot of themes in it. And there's like an amazing rainbow dream cannon away. And it's a, oh, a, a, a spite. A, what they called? What they called again? <laughs> um, I've just gone blank. They're from Bayou Sunshine. Um, but my mind has just gone completely blank as to what they're called. Wow, um, someone, someone, please remind me in the comments, please. I, I, I can't think of it. I really can't. Forty-three points, eight, three, three, one. I want to say sprites, sun sprites, shine, shine sprites, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Someone, please tell me what that is. Forty-three points. Let's move on. Here we go. And here we go with the third race for episode number four, custom track worldwide, and we're on SNES Mario Circuit Two. Yeah, not sure this is new. Probably not. There might be some new retro courses, so I'm not sure, but I can't really tell because I know the courses, so I don't know if I've done them before, and I don't know if they're new, but this looks pretty faithful to the original. I always like this course in um, the, the SNES version because there was like a little glitch where you could get the computer, the, the AI, to like get constantly stuck on the jump. If you put if you put a banana skin at a certain point, they'd get they'd hit it. I mean, they always took the same line on this jump here. And if you put the banana skin right in between the two boosts, they'd hit the banana skin and then get stuck and then they just keep going round and round over and over again and, it's, and just like failing the jump is amazing um, uh, that was the best thing about the SNES Mario, uh, SNES Mario Kart <laughs> that, that jump there oh that's amazing um, I always used to do that whenever I played this course just get that banana skin and put it right where it was and most of the time it was because they were jumping over the banana skin because sometimes they could jump the, 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 the AI characters and they'd jump over it and just land after the jump and then just have they keep doing that over and over again anyway back to the race um i suppose um yeah <laughs> it's a final lap but there we go i had to get that in because it's amazing i love it now we've got two mushrooms so we can go across this grass maybe uh, maybe not oh there's a little jump here so thankfully that was there because i would have just been stranded on the dirt which is somewhere you don't want to be stranded there's a green shell coming backwards but it's not going to hit me and you've got the guy that can't drive behind me which is fine so i've got second place in the bag um right now because I'm not getting past that guy. He can't drive. <laughs> he can't drive. He also can't bounce. And we got a banana skin as well. And there we go. Nice simple race. Oh, loads of banana skins on that last corner, man. What was going on there? Like a banana skin party. Um, I managed to avoid him somehow. And there we go. Second place. We should get some points. And we also heard a little story as well. That's good. Three points. A nice little story. Let's move on. Here we go. Can't complain. And here we go with the fourth and final race. Episode number four. Of my custom tracks worldwide. Um, I'm on Caladay Desert. Caladay Desert. Caladay. Yeah, it's a Caladay. Um, I've, I've had this one before. This isn't new. I know this one. I still don't quite understand this bit. This black mesh floor. Anybody know what that is? What that's supposed to be? It's supposed to be. I don't know. 
I don't, I'm not, I don't quite understand that black mesh floor, but whatever. Oh, that guy hit me banana skin. I've got the, oh, look at that. I've got the, the secret, super secret item box that only pros can get. So there we go. I am a pro because I proved it right there. Um, but yeah, there is G Blake. Now, part of the G clan, apparently. Um, where do I go again? Is this, um, uh, where, where do I go again? Oh, oh, it's, yeah, it's over the mountain, over the pyramid, yeah. That's right. I remember now, now that I'm here, I remember, but as I was coming over that pyramid, I honestly could not remember where that was. Um, and there's IS, the IS clan as well. We've got a couple of clans here. Is this a clan war? Am I, am I in a clan war here between the ISs and the Gs? Um, it is versus G. Oh, there's Zenyo just driving on the on the sand there because he can't drive. Just just living up to his name there as a guy that can't drive, Mr. Zenyo there. Um, and I'll, I'll remember this because it's got this has got like the biggest like off-road shortcut in the history of anything ever. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous, right? Anyone agree? That was a little bit ridiculous. I'm not complaining because it's given me the, the lead. And there's the other guy from the G Clan. He looks a little bit better than Zenya. I gotta admit, um, Zenya, the guy that can't drive, is not really doing the G Clan any justice right now. Um, but G Blake, he's 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 bringing a bit of pride back to the G name. Um, so watch out for the G Blake. And he's throwing red shells at me as well. Oh, and I've just got stuck on oh, Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean. And oh, look at that. See that pro tactic there? Getting hit by banana skin. And then you don't lose your banana skin. Because the red shell hit me but didn't actually hit me. There's a little pro tactic there for you guys. Um, hit, get hit by banana skin. Instead of getting hit by a shell. And then you keep your banana skin. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the, the ideal thing would be not to get hit by anything. But if you want to keep banana skin, then that's how you do it. Um, it's it's better than better than getting hit by a shell, yeah? No, no. Okay. Uh, G Blake there is going the other way. And I don't think it's like an awful lot faster. It may be a little bit faster, but it's not really worth it. I mean, he, he, he drove on the sand a little bit, so as you can see, it didn't really help him out that much. So yeah, right on G Blake. You you the only one left that can restore pride to the G Clan. So you've got to be on on the ball, G Blake. You've got to win this race. If you want to restore pride to the G Clan, after. G Zenya can't drive, you need to be on the ball right now. This is your chance to prove that you are the best in the G Clan. Here we go. It's the G Clan versus um, the Cow Clan. The Cow Clan. The KAL Clan. Yeah, that's my clan. I just made it up right now. Um, oh, he's, oh he's, got the, he's got the back spamming technique, isn't he? Now you can tell he's probably, probably isn't a clan. That's probably what you do in Clan Wars, just back spam and hit people. Um, most normal people don't do that. Because we're, we're, we're friendly. I, I don't. I just backed on a green shot there. <laughs> but that's because I, I want to hit G Blake. I want to hit him. Because he's trying to hit me. I've uh, got a fake eye which isn't great, actually. Maybe I can snipe him, though, with it. Take this. Epic sniper. Oh, it would have been a good shot as well. But he was too far ahead. Look at that. That would have landed directly on his head. But as like I said, he was too far ahead to hit his head. Um, yeah. Two heads are better than one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And is he going to the. the no, he, he's decided against it this time. Oh, is he? No, he's going there again. He's, he's going for it, and he's failed again. Oh, I hit a pokey, but that's fine. That uh, G Blake failed. So G Blake is living up to the G Clan name of that the, they, they cannot drive. So if you join the G Clan, um, if they get invited to the G Clan, it's because you can't drive. Okay, he had one chance to, um, to uh, get restore pride. I couldn't think of the word restore pride to the G Clan. And it failed. I mean, he almost beat me because I was being a bit cocky on the outside there with the tricks. When that's so much slower than going the normal route, but I had it in the bag. I knew what I was doing. Um, I gave him a chance. I gave him one last chance to restore pride to the G Clan, but no, um, he didn't, <laughs> and I won. So the Cow Clan. Um, I can't call it the Cow Clan because it sounds like cows. I might as well call it the Moo Clan. Um, the Cow. If you say cow, it does sound like cow, right? Cow, cow, cow. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will do this again. Thanks for watching and goodbye.